Hello, Kemal Hashif, Smai, Mormai, what else? Borada. <laughs> so, little update video to kind of talk about what's happened in January, what the plan is going forward. But before we dive in, I just want to remind you about the free language planner and the free teacher planner that you can get right now. I'll put the links in the description below. This is gonna help you get completely organized with everything for the month ahead. And if you want to, you can go one step further and get the much more detailed, much more in-depth solo language learner planner or the online language teacher planner as well. Again, links in the description for those. Currently, my goal right now is to learn some of four languages of the UK. That's Welsh, Cornish, Manx, and Scottish Gaelic. And so far, so good. What's really interesting is I'm learning all four at the same time. I've never done this before. I've always learned multiple languages, but I've never started four new languages at once. So that's been really interesting. It's quite, um, at first, it felt really easy because I had three resources that were very, very similar. And then I had one Scottish uh, Gaelic that was, I didn't have the same resource that say something in. So say something in Welsh, Cornish and Manx. There's not one there yet for Scottish Gaelic. So I was using different things and picking up different bits of language. And then I was, I started out by kind of cross-referencing it all and trying to fill in the blanks. But that's quite hard because I don't have a dictionary for any of these languages, apart from Welsh, more on that in a moment. I have had to kind of do my best with like Google Translate and stuff and it's not quite the same. But that said, I do feel about maybe I could say the same amount of stuff in all four languages, but maybe not quite the same stuff, if that makes sense. So I wanted to kind of document a little bit of that today and to talk about these languages and in these languages as well today. Let's start with Welsh. So. Borda, smai, duisio, duisio, dusky, city, sharat kamraig. Dwin mind i, dwin mind i a marver, a marver, a marver, a marver, smai sharat kamraig, i Dwi, dwi trio, dwi trio, dwi trio, um, siarad Cymraeg, um, uh, I don't know my days, uh, every day, um, uh, dwi trio, da, dwi, um, dwi sio, and dwi mynd i, um, amarfer, siarad, um, Dusky. Yeah, I think that's most of the stuff. Notebook time. First of all, Dawson's Creek. Can we take a second to just mourn the fact that Dawson did not get the girl? 20 years too late, I'm sad about that. Anyway, <laughs> so I started um, by writing down the, the simple vocab list and then doing a few example sentences using all of that stuff and using what I was listening to. I've so far, because I've been keeping a track as well up here of how many times I've listened to each lesson. So with lesson one, I've so far, one, two, three, four, five, five times in full. Um, and that's, that's felt good. You know, I do feel at that point now that I can kind of go forward. And then what I did on the last time, so four times, I'm going over, going over. The last time I then kind of created this which is like how my brain works. I was good at jigsaws when I was a kid apparently, so maybe that makes sense. Like all the combinations that you can use them in. Ah, kofio, I forgot that. Guela, guela, and fedra uh, idim, dwi angen, or dwi dal angen as well. So there's a few bits there towards the end I forgot. The lessons are quite long, so the beginning stuff I tend to feel more confident in and then, you know, you sort of drift, right? Um, but yeah, I'm quite happy, that's Welsh. I've done the same thing with the little table for Manx and for um, Cornish as well. Cornish next. So let me get into Cornish brain. Meyrvin, Meyrvin Kausal Karnawik. Meyrvin Kausal Karnawik. Ha, ha, because it's the same as Guarani, weird fact. Ha and ha, um, what else can I say? I want resuvim, 
Resu them, is that what I need? Resu them. Um, uh, Resu them. E. Iguales, converters, reservim converters, Karnawik. So I could say all together, Mayervin causal Karnawik ha reservim uh, converters Karnawik. I'm gonna check that. Let's just have a little look at the chart. Okay, Mayervin, um, and then causal to speak Karnawik Cornish. Reserve it, reserve them, reserve them. Convey this to understand. I need to understand Cornish. Um, yeah, okay, that's not too bad. And there's some other bits, other words there as well. So, same kind of process. Manx. Tamigiri lot gilg. Tamigiri lot gilg. As. Tamigiri kliakta gilg. Tamigiri u kliakta gilgrut. No, kliakta gilg rum. Um, uh, resu them. Why do I think resu them feels the same? It's not the same one. Um, tamigiri, tamigiri, tami. Let me grab another starter phrase. Tamigiri, ooh. Oh, yeah, because then it goes into the questions. That's why I've only got one start phrase in my head because then it's questions. Baviam, but bavaliam, bavaliam. Bavaliam, I'd like. Bavaliam, Bavaliam, uh, Lord Gilg, um, as, um, as, Bavaliam, Cleacta. So, same thing again. They're the things that are sticking with me on that one. Um, so, yeah, I like, I like that one. That's working well. And finally, Scottish Gaelic. So this is kind of different. I can't say any of that same stuff, but I can say like basic stuff like Kimara Hashiv, Smeeza, Lindsay, Sastin, 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 England, I can't remember where I'm from. Ah, Hami, Ah, is that right? Hami, Ah, Sastin, 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 England. Kemara Hashith. Uh Hagama Tapalith. Kemara Hashith Fain. Hagama Tapalith. I like that sound of that. Um what else? It's mostly been that. Oh, and I can say things like um Hai Mor. Hai uh, Mor. Haniel Bik. Um Avail. Avail Mor. Um, Haniel, um, Haniel Mor. Avel Bik, Ha, Ha Bik. So I, I do that basic question stuff. So I've used so far, this is the one where it's been a bit different. So I've used um, speaking our language. Wow, amazing, so much fun. It's like, how is, like, nationwide used to sell houses, telephones with the wires the like the clothes the cars it's amazing it's amazing i think i checked and it was 1993 when that was made so yeah it's very retro very very cool speaking our language i've watched episode one so far of that i've done two or three episodes of um gallic with jason on on youtube very very cool very very good lessons really nice flow really easy to follow and I got a book, which is over there, most recently from the library, so like a teach yourself book kit. And I've been just writing out those dialogues, so I've got them for later, I've saved the audio, so I can go over that stuff later as I get it. But really, I now know a rough order in terms of time of when we'll be doing some of the, uh, the language stories filming. So I know that we're probably gonna be starting with Manx, that'll be the first one. So now I can focus more on Manx for the time being. And then I think we'll go down to Wales, north of Wales, at least on that same trip. So that means Welsh is more important for me at the minute. Cornish and Scottish Gaelic, probably gonna be in the summer. So I can at least kind of just keep them gently ticking over, but focus a little bit more on the other two for now. So that's good because at the beginning it was very much open playing field. So now I know I have this more focus and more of a, an instant uh, need, I suppose, with, um, with Manx and with Welsh. So yeah, 
So far so good, really enjoying it. In terms of looking forward to next month, that's a big part of it, is, is the focus in more so on Manx and on Welsh. In terms of what I'm doing, I have just started the second lesson of Say Something In with Welsh and with Manx, and with Cornish today, in fact, because I'm recording this. Um, so that's happened already, so I'm just starting into that. So I want to do the same thing. It's really slow, but I'm learning multiple languages at once, right? I know I could do that quicker if I was like focused in, but I don't want to be. So that's going about four times I listen, then on the sort of fourth or fifth time I'll come back and I'll do this again, because this really, really helped to sort of solidify everything that I'd like been hearing on the on the first few listens where I've just been listening and walking around not like writing or reading so yeah that's really helped so I'm doing more of these jigsaw pieces um with Welsh lots I want to watch some more Sam Sam Tan Fireman Sam I'm very excited to watch some Fireman Sam and uh Gweno as well and with Manx there's some really helpful videos from Culture Vanin and uh, Manx Language, another channel, they're connected. Um, and so I'll be just making my way through those as the month goes on as well. So yeah, that's pretty much where I'm at. That's my kind of loose plans going forward. And yeah, oh, I should talk about this. The one thing that hasn't happened and that actually I don't think that I'm missing. I said in the last video that I was planning to do like 40 minutes of these languages and then 20 minutes of other languages. That hasn't happened at all. And I think part of the reason is my walk kind of eats into that time, which is fine because I'm listening as I'm doing it, right? But also I think because there's four languages, I'm not feeling that like pull of like, oh, I want to be doing something else because I've already got four that I'm working with. So I've, I've been interested by that, that I haven't felt the need to want to just keep dipping my toes in other stuff at the same time. And final reminder before we go, if you want to get your plans down on paper for this month or if you're teaching languages online and you want to plan it all out so you know what you're doing when, then be sure to get the free planners for both learners and teachers. I'll put the links in the description below and remember you can also get the solo language learner planner and the online language teacher planner as well which are much more detailed, much more in depth and I'll put those links in the description as well. And that's it. Diochen Rao, Meras, Tapaleith, and how do I say thank you in Manx? That's what I need to learn. Okay. <laughs> do you have any experience with these languages? If so, let me know in the comments down below and I would love to get chatting with you about it. And what are your goals for February? Let me know down in the comments below. And as always, remember to subscribe and tap the little bell for regular language learning videos. I will see you very soon. Thank you, bye.